Life is great when you're lucky enough to have a nice doggy. Do you think pets are important? Sure. How did you happen to get Snoopy, Charlie Brown? I think it started because of something that happened in a sandbox with a couple of other kids. One of them poured a whole bucket of sand over my head. I started crying, I guess, and my mother came running up and took me home. It's kind of embarrassing now to talk about it. Anyway, the next day, we drove out to the Daisy Hill puppy farm and my mother and dad bought me a dog. The friendship of a boy and his dog is a beautiful thing. It touches me deeply to know that we mean more to each other than anything in the world. I saw that. Snoopy. Hello, Charlie Brown. Would you go? Sorry, but I didn't want the scent to get out and wake up Snoopy. What scent? I just opened a package of cookie. If Snoopy catches the scent, he won't let up until he's eaten the very last one. <gasps> Can you chew more softly? There. Now Snoopy won't smell a thing, and you'll be okay. <laughs> ah! How does he know? How does he do it? How did he know I had a cookie in my pocket when I went by him the second time? I think he listened to your footsteps. With the cookie in your pocket, you weighed more. Peanuts! Here, Snoopy. You know, I'm very glad to see you take such good care of your things and that you take your collar to the dry cleaners every week. But it's getting expensive. <laughs> and I need you to show me what to do with all these wire hangers. <laughs> Shrunk in the wash, huh? Boy, have I got something for you. Hello? Hold your chin up. That's the way. This is a new collar with a little bell, Snoopy. It'll give you real class. Walk around a bit. See how you like it. Well, what do you think? This one's magnificent. I'm sure you're gonna like it. And after this one, we're done. I'm not buying any more new collars. You'll love it. It's very fancy, very masculine. Your dog does an awful lot of napping. This isn't a whole nap. This is just a nap snack. Wake up! I just can't let sleeping dogs lie. I've never seen anybody so completely useless. Have you any idea what you're going to do with the rest of your life? Snoopy sleep instructor. Classes for beginners and intensive workshops. Pillows not provided. Another 
one of your stupid ideas. That's not a job for a dog. She's right, Snoopy. In fact, your job is to watch the house. No, that house. Finished writing your novel, Snoopy? Whoa, I'm so proud of you. No one's going to read anything that stupid anyway, so why bother writing a sequel? Gentlemen, it's a letter. Enclosed is the manuscript of my new novel. I know you are going to like it. In the meantime, please send me some money so I can live it up. No one is ever going to pay you for those dumb stories you write. <laughs> and crying won't help. Publishers very seldom pay authors just to keep them from crying. Are you waiting for the answer from your publisher? Uh-uh. Here. Here! Here's a letter for you, Snoopy. <laughs> I think you can go ahead and tear the envelope open. A pile of dollar bills is not necessarily going to fall out. Dear author, congratulations. We have decided to publish your novel. First printing will be one copy. If we sell it, we'll print another. <laughs> Watchdog. Eagle eyes, ears perked, all your senses alert. <laughs> Sometimes just hearing the snap of a twig may mean the difference between life and death. That's a real watchdog. <laughs> Snoopy! 